Alright, welcome back to another episode here in our WWE 2K19 Universe Mode. I don't know why I'm doing the voices, but whatever. Anyways, I'm of course talking on the Bad Wrestling Channel, and we welcome you to episode 121 of our ongoing series where apparently AO okay. A AOP is are, are making their way to the ring. So I guess I guess we need a little bit of a backstory here. Um on the last episode of NXT it was revealed that Adam Cole tweeted out uh, towards General Manager Chris Jericho that the the Undisputed Era want more challenges for the NXT champion or uh, the NXT Tag Team Championships. So that's what they're getting. Apparently, Chris Jericho, you went out. He tried to find the most dominating force he can find to perhaps, you know, get the NXT Tag Team Titles underneath the NXT banner as opposed to a team that's technically from the main roster on Monday Night Raw. And it looks like he found these two, AOP. Now they were, they, they were kinda in the world in, 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 in the last two series. They were kinda in that, um, in, 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 you know, just kinda hanging out. They were drafted, they didn't do too much. But it seems as though tonight, they want to be doing something massive and that is take those championships from Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, the undisputed air, and it seems as though they are coming out here alone. Okay, Adam Cole was, you know, fighting on the last episode of Raw. He did compete in the main event matchup, and I don't know, maybe Roderick Strong is just helping him out, talking to him, watching backstage. Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish making their ways to the ring, the NXT Tag Team Champions. As, oh, well, apparently, AOP not wasting any time at all. Okay, this match is apparently going on. Okay, AOP battling the Undisputed Era right now, beating the crap out of him. Or crap out of them, I should say. Uh, uh, referee, is there anybody that's going to stop this from happening? No? Okay, the crowd just watching on as apparently a AOP is just beating the hell out of the NXT Tag Team Champions. Okay, hitting him with the kendo stick, and now, oh, hits him with the Russian leg sweep clothesline combination. And, well, I, okay, well, AOP absolutely dominating their, I guess, opponents, but it seems as though the referee has decided to call off the match from even happening, so it looks like Adam Cole, even though he, he wanted challengers, it looks like AOP aren't really wanting to challenge for the championships. I... I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. Okay. Well, anyways, we move on to the rest of our episode. Excuse me. I have a statement to make about Bianca Belair. Back in her debut, she defeated me in one-on-one -on -one competition due to the actions of that no-good Tony Storm being at ringside. So I have used my natural charm to get a rematch at the upcoming NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. I'll be more than happy to show Bel Air just how a woman truly acts. Ooh. Oh, 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 okay. What was, wasn't quite ex okay. I can't even say any, okay, sure. <laughs> Apparently Lacey Evans had something to say, kind of interrupting the flow of the episode, but sure. Why not? Lacey Evans apparently announcing to the world that she's going to be fighting Bianca Belair at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn in a few weeks' time following the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Um, sure? Okay, Lacey Evans versus Bianca Belair. We've already seen that match before, and I wouldn't mind a rematch to that one. However, speaking of NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, segues, uh, <laughs> Tyler Bate. Making his way to the ring, apparently alongside Pete Dunn, the man who he defeated earlier in this NXT Championship Number One Contendership Tournament, um, is going to be taking on Leo Rush because this is the finals of the tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Tyler Bates versus Leo Rush. It looks like Leo Rush also has not come alone, quite fittingly, considering these two seem to be inseparable. Leo Rush. Coming alongside Bobby Lashley. 
Okay, the man of the hour along with the Dominator making their way to the ring. Looks like Tyler Bate realized, you know what? Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush, like I said, are inseparable. So maybe I need a friend in my corner, and it seems like Pete Dunne has become the friend in his corner. However, the story of this match is not between Bobby Lashley and Pete Dunne. It's between Tyler Bates and Leo Rush. In the last episode of NXT, we saw Leo Rush defeat Cassius Ono. Tyler Bates defeated Pete Dunne. These two men are now going to battle, and the winner of this match faces Ricochet from the NXT Championship at... NXT TakeOver Brooklyn as a kick to the stomach there by Tyler Bate and then responds with a punch. Oh, look at this. What the? Okay. Leo Rush, a very quick competitor. One. No, only a one count there. As you're going to find out, Leo Rush very much relies on his speed and agility while Tyler Bate. Oh, look at this. Oh, and the big strong boy, as he calls himself, has a lot of other skills, including tech, technical wrestling as well as strength as he just showed you there as Leo Rush goes after him Tyler Bate reverses drops him down now a punch to the back of the head there Jesus clobbering the back of the head however uh, Leo Rush still in the matchup Tyler Bates picks him up oh and speaking of the head there the brain buster and only gets the rope break there Leo Rush saving himself and Tyler Bate this incredibly young athlete could be fighting for the uh, for the NXT championship if 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 he defeats Leo Rush here as as it seems as though he might just do considering he definitely has the offensive uh, d uh, d uh, d uh, advantage right now as Leo Rush oh goes to get up gets the arm drag or got, almost gets picked up and then hits him with a big kick there and then Leo Rush again with the speed course when he gets angry he gets very aggressive okay his body changes it seems as though Tyler Bate might have just angered Leo Rush as now he just keeps hitting him with the forearms over and over and over and over again oh changes the style into a super kick there as now the cover by the man of the hour one no and only a one count there I bet you in the back somewhere Ricochet the NXT champion watching on as Tyler Bay, oh, Hunakan Rana there, of course, Ricochet defeating Andrade Cien Almas and, well, Pete Dunne to get that championship and then very, and then following that triple threat matchup, defeating Andrade Cien Almas again in singles action. Is that, oh, look at that! Leo Rush hits him with the stunner there. As you can see, a lot of quick at, uh, or, 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 or quick action. I guess you could say, I'm not too sure. Leo's, oh! Big roundhouse kick by Rush. And Rush could perhaps be ending this matchup right now. Okay, this is our main event of NXT. And no, gets the knees up there. Tyler Bate not going to give up quite yet. Leo Rush turns him around. And oh, looks at that. Oh, look at that there. The speed. And there you see Leo Rush just collapsing on the ground. Obviously feeling a bit tired right now. These two men going back and forth here. I can only assume Andrade Cien Almas as well as Ricochet watching in the back. Andrade Cien Almas, the most recent contender for the championship. And oh, look at that! Perhaps a little bit of a sign to Velveteen Dream. One, two. No, and only a two count there. Velveteen Dream. I don't, maybe that's some. That might be some some gimmick infringement there. However, Leo Rush doesn't seem to care. The only thing he cares about is Ricochet and the NXT title. NXT TakeOver Brooklyn is going to have one hell of a main event if either of these two men win this matchup as Tyler Bay. Oh, what is this? Oh, reversing, and then look at that! Springboard cutter, perhaps a bit of a sign to Ricochet. That is kind of a Ricochet-esque move. And other high-flying competitors around the world. As Leo Rush... Throws Tyler Bate into the corner, but Tyler Bate reverses it. Turns it around, and then, oh, into a European uppercut there. By the UK superstar, Northern Lights Suplex. The cover, one, two. No, and only a two count there. These two men going after each other brutally. Tyler Bate trying to slow down the pace while Leo Rush tries to quicken the pace of this matchup. As Bate 
Turns him around. Bobby Lashley and Pete Dunne both watching on the sidelines. As Bates turns it. German suplex there. Beautifully executed. Slamming the back of the neck of Leo Rush down into the mat. As Bates could perhaps be going for a huge finish to this matchup. No, the Tyler Driver 97 does not connect. Leo Rush reverses it. Throws him on the outside. What does he have in mind here? And oh god, looking to slam. Oh, looking to slam Tyler Bate that time on the ground. As Rush now stops on the leg of Tyler Bate. Now the count of two by the ref. Leo Rush looking down at Tyler Bate now. And this does this is gonna look like a brutal landing for uh, for both men here. Oh my god! Oh my god, I think I heard the steel steps. Leo Rush, I think, connecting with the steps. Either Leo Rush or Tyler Bates. I don't know if that maneuver was him popping his arm back into place. Or trying to, or s something. However, he hits the roundhouse kick. Okay, and then, oh, throws him into the steel steps perhaps again. I'm not too sure. Okay, we didn't get a good camera angle on that. However, devastating landing for, I think, both men. However, Leo Rush seems to have definitely... Uh, healed himself back up a bit as the count is seven by the referee causes both men to re-enter the ring as Leo Rush here oh once again going for the frog splash reversed by Tyler Bates and Bates now grabbing him here what does Tyler Bates have in mind not too sure puts him on the ropes staring down Leo Rush here Seems to have something in mind. Springboard! Oh, into the European uppercut there. By Tyler Bates as Bates looks at Leo Rush. And oh, Rush reverses again. These two men have each other's finishing maneuvers well scouted. Elbow to the face. Tyler Bates almost pulling the ring out. Or the ring ropes out of the, out of the, out of the sockets of the turnbuckles. As now Tyler Bates trying to perhaps pull the head of Tyler Bates out of the socket. Of his, of his neck as Leo Rush hits him with the suicide dive and looks again once oh my god once again why why would you want to do that why would okay good Leo Rush I know you're young but and I know that you think you have a lot to to live for to, to, to live for there to a lot a lot to prove I should say but don't go jumping on Tyler Bate after what we just transpired from the top to the floor however Perhaps Leo Rush looking to finish off Tyler Bay here. Has something in mind. No, misses the elbow drop. I thought he was going to go for the frog splash there. But Tyler, but Leo Rush at the last possible second changes his mind. As Tyler Bates has him here. I don't know where the Tyler driver. The cover one, two, three. And Tyler Bates defeats Leo Rush here out of nowhere hitting the Tyler driver. Oh man, replay some of this. There you see that springboard uh, 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 stunner there. Okay, Leo Rush calling out everybody in this matchup. Okay, the springboard stunner. Uh, of course, John Cena slash Stone Cold Steve Austin trying, you know, doing the Velveteen Dream thing. He's calling out anybody he can even think of. There you see the Velveteen Dream thing. However, that all the maneuvers that Leo Rush would steal in this match did not earn him the victory as there you see Tyler Bate there you see Pete Dunne in the background clapping for him Tyler Bate in our main event is gonna be fighting NXT TakeOver Brooklyn for the NXT Championship it looks like the UK scene cannot leave the scene of the NXT title because Tyler Bate won't let that happen but will he be able to defeat Ricochet for the championship at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn only time will tell, however, right now that's going to be the end of this episode here on our WWE 2K19 Universe. But if you guys like it, please let me know by hitting the like button down below. Comment anything, want to comment, subscribe if you haven't already. But if you have, why not hit the bell to be notified of everything we do here on the Battle Wrestling channel. I'm, of course, Sonic, and have a good day from Bad Wrestling. Bye-bye. Yo.